There exists on the internet possibly thousands of obscure and bizarre games that very few have heard about and even fewer have played. Mormia Middle School Shooter is one of those clear cut examples. Mormia came to me in the form of an entry on a creepy gaming iceberg. The title immediately popped out to me viewing down the list. I went and downloaded it from a random sketchy website. As this game's title implies, this is a game about shooting up a school. Due to the contents of this game, I find it very important to make it clear. I do not endorse the actions demonstrated in this game at all, nor do I endorse the developer and the game's creation. This video is purely for documentation and entertainment. Plot. The game starts with a monologue from the protagonist. She complains about how no one wants to talk to her and how much she wants to kill her classmates. Immediately it then cuts to her home where you'll learn that her mom killed herself months prior, and her dad simply disappeared one day. The protagonist grabs a 22 carbine, a Glock 17, and she begins her massacre. After your massacre, the game can go to one of four endings. Which one you get depends on how you go out. Ending number one. The protagonist is swarmed by teachers wielding man catchers. After a quick struggle, the protagonist goes down on the floor and is being held in place by several staff members. The following cutscene plays. Ending number two, the protagonist enters the gymnasium. A girl in a white shirt wielding a knife stabs the protagonist in the chest to defend her... <laughs> to defend her senpai. I fucking hate that word. The following cutscene plays. <laughs> Ending number three. The protagonist enters a classroom full of students. She readies her pipe bomb, closes her eyes, and throws it. Immediately upon opening her eyes, she looks down at the floor and realizes that she had thrown the pipe bomb directly at her feet. With only a few moments to realize her mistake, the pipe bomb goes off. The following cutscene plays. Ending number 4, the protagonist goes on a successful massacre, having taken many lives. Satisfied with her work, she sits in the classroom, staring at the window. She awaits the inevitable. Shortly after, a SWAT team breaches her room and orders her to surrender. The protagonist complies, and the following cutscene plays. Plot-wise, this game just feels like it's being edgy for like the sake of being edgy. Kind of like that, um, the fucking Hatred game that came out a couple years ago that everybody like thought it was going to be the next fucking Postal or whatever. But it just really ended up being like the same thing, you know, just being violent for no fucking reason. Gameplay. More Mia is a technical achievement. It was made an RPG maker, but a developer managed to make it into a top-down shooter in the same vein as Hotline Miami. The game functions as a roguelite. You have 5 minutes to commit your massacre before the police arrest you, and the game automatically ends. At the end of every run, you get a score from 1 to 5. As far as the gameplay itself goes, it's pretty eh. It feels sort of clunky, you know, for a game primarily about shooting, the developer sure makes it feel like a pain in the ass. You have to stand still and hold E in order to actually hit anything. 
and any sort of fun that you have really gets shot down whenever you hear the like visceral fucking screaming of the people you just shot. <laughs> Alongside the gameplay itself, there's two progression systems, one of which is like a skill tree type deal, and the other one is like an unlock tree for weapons. I personally only played enough so that I could get all four of the endings, so the only guns I were able to unlock were the M870 and the 1911. Background. After having had played, I got really curious about who made it and what the rationale was behind it. So I went and did a little bit of research and I found a dev. Um, his name on Twitter is Eric806359. Um, I wouldn't really visit this guy's Twitter because he has all kinds of really fucking bizarre and weird porn. I couldn't find a rationale behind the game. I can only assume he just did it because it seemed like a fun idea. Um, I did find a comment saying he doesn't really care about the negative feedback or whatever, so I guess his video is in vain. It also seems like he's working on an update for the game, so if you're into that kind of thing, uh, there you go. Closing thoughts. That's more of me in middle school. A very short video for a very short game. Uh, if the whole school shooting theme doesn't put you off, and if you're like at all curious, I think it's worth the playthrough. Especially because it's free. Um, if you enjoyed this sort of review styled video, write me a comment. I'm trying to format right now, and um, yeah, I had a lot of fun making this. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Peace. And you don't seem to understand.